the most toxic person in the autograph and card community coming up. Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me as always. My name is Troy Rudder, AKA TTM Troy, and it has been a while, but I figured it was time to come out of semi-retirement and make a video about something that I have been seeing in the TTM and autograph community for the past, I wanna say the past year, year and a half, and it pretty much is a single person. Now, this person does not participate in community celebrations such as subscriber giveaways or contests, and they very rarely actually comment on videos themselves. Now also this person, despite having a Facebook page, doesn't post to that page, and they haven't made a video in about six months or so. Now this person had once been a member of the community that did videos one, two, three, sometimes five days a week, but lately they have not produced a video. And like I said, they haven't been being really a part of the community for at least six months, but really probably the last year and a half. And I think it's time that we talk about this and kind of uh, decloak this person. And I know that it may cause a little bit of a controversy here on YouTube, but I think it's, I think it's something that we really do need to talk about. And that person is me. Now, that probably didn't surprise a lot of people. Uh, I have not done a video since the Sports Card YouTube Hall of Fame video. Uh, well, actually I did a couple videos that were short videos about some uh, supplies that I enjoy. But other than that, I have pretty much not been on YouTube lately. And even for the six months or a year uh, before that, uh, I was kind of not really involved. I just disappeared. <laughs> and some people may have actually preferred it that way. But I'm here to tell you uh, kind of what, what was going on and where we go and move forward because I think that uh, I definitely want to get back into the YouTube and TTM community if you would have me back. And uh, I think we have some cool things that I can go ahead and bring forward to you. So what happened? Well, in January, shortly after the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame thing, it had absolutely nothing to do with the voting or any of that stuff. You know, feelings always seem to get hurt during the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. Had absolutely nothing to do with that. What happened was I had volunteered to actually coach basketball. And I had not coached basketball for about 20 years. And so I was severely stressed. Uh, and especially after losing uh, 71 to 11 on one of our games, but I would come home at night after working my regular job and then going to lose 71 to 11. And the last thing that I wanted to do was to either send TTMs, record TTMs, record a video, edit a video, reply to videos, watch videos. I just came home and if I did anything at all, I was watching basketball videos because I just uh, was so focused on becoming a better coach and actually trying to win a couple games. And that kind of uh, led me to not be on YouTube very often because I was just plain exhausted. And that lasted until uh, middle of February, end of February. But even before then, I was really struggling to be a part of the community and know when all of these contests and subscriber giveaways and this, that, and the other were coming up. And I still don't know the best way other than because there are so many channels right now that when someone does a giveaway, I don't know how you guys all know about it. You know, it's, it's just amazing to me. Like Caleb knows about every single giveaway 
and subscriber anniversary and everything that that <laughs> everybody's doing and I don't know how he does it we I wish he would just send me a notice uh, which he did for his latest uh, uh, junk wax challenge but I had to decline at that point um, so I don't know why I have just been uh, kind of just feeling down and out about uh, TTMs and really about a lot of things and I'm trying to find my place, I guess, in the world in general. And part of that was stepping away from the autograph community. I mean, I was only watching maybe one or two channels and those were ones that I manually typed in. And there are a lot more channels now doing TTMs and I think that's fantastic. Uh, I hope you guys will welcome me back, but I know you guys have a lot of different channels to watch, so I appreciate you hanging in with me right here. So what I wanted to say is that after basketball, there's another work has been very stressful. We're trying to transition. I have about 100 websites to a new theme, but it's not just a look and feel. It's kind of a, a, a feeling of websites for the university and so that has been very stressful and we just got one of the major ones done earlier uh, or actually later of last week on Friday so that one's done and that's kind of gonna be the basis for uh, a lot of the websites that are coming forward right so that being done is a giant release off of my shoulders and uh, I just could not think of anything else. Like I would come home and I would just veg out on the couch and watch videos that I've seen or movies and TV shows that I've seen a thousand times rather than watch YouTube videos or make YouTube videos. And I'm sorry. Like I am really sorry because uh, being a part of the community has meant so much to me since 2012. And you guys have encouraged me to make videos, to write the book, to uh, upgrade my lighting and get this fancy background and all that, all that fun stuff. And I, I kind of feel like I've let you guys down. And when you guys were making the Sports Card Hall of Fame videos, there were so many people that said high production value and I really appreciate that because I do try to go the extra effort in providing that higher production value but I kind of I kind of wish that people would say that I'm uh, you know a nice guy I send out things I participate I do this I do that and be a part of the community rather than just a high production value and I think I think not being a part of that community may have alienated me a little bit from even some of my uh, online friends that I have had in the past. Uh, just the fact that I wasn't uh, there for them and they weren't there for me because I wasn't doing anything. Um, and there have been, uh, you know, a, a few of you that have reached out during this time just to say who's up. So. Uh, you know, Eloy and uh, Jason, Zombie Collector, all the people from Autograph uh, Weekly, and uh, Henry and Caleb, and you know, there, there have been people that have said, hey, what's going on? And I've kind of put, put them off, to be honest with you. I was just like, I don't want to talk about it. I'm just in a, in a thing. <laughs> and uh, just bear with me, I'll come out of it. And uh, that is the result. The result is this video right here, which is kind of the, um, uh, kick yourself in the pants video for me okay so tomorrow I am starting a project and hopefully you guys will enjoy that uh, here are the the things that I'm sending out right here you can't see what they are but I'm gonna be doing a video about that and I hope you guys enjoy that it's kind of it's, it's something that I haven't done before and going forward like I said I, I don't want to be just the production value guy but I, I hope to be able to uh, reconnect with some of you that I haven't connected with in a long time and also uh, find some new friends out there and be a part of your channels as well. Uh, 
just to give you an example, so I have a whole bunch of TTMs that I'm going to be going through, and a lot of these, actually most of them, are going to be from 2022 because I've been sitting on them for that long, and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you appreciate those. I will have some from 2023, but I gotta send some stuff out before that starts happening. Uh, I have some more product videos or supply videos that I'm going to be doing. I actually just bought one of those great big uh, BCW card houses. And I'm gonna try to put that together here fairly shortly. And hopefully I'm gonna have something new, you know, and it's not gonna be the spinning cards uh, like uh, I tried for about one video and, and Scott, uh, <laughs> Scott still, still uh, makes fun of me for that. But I thought it was cool at the time. But I want to try to, basically what I'm saying through this video is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I took a break. Um, I really appreciate everybody who has encouraged me in the entire time that I've been doing videos because it has been definitely one of the highlights of my life is doing these videos and getting the letters and getting uh, just just because packages is what we used to call them, just because. And uh, putting autographs up on the autograph wall, being a part of the Autograph Weekly podcast, being a part of the TTM cast whenever they have me on, and just being able to talk to a camera like this. I know this video is kind of different because it's just me and you, and it's not cutting in, and like I said, there's not a lot of editing, but it's something that I wanted to do as we, I guess the summer is, it's not quite half over, but as we get into July and as we get into the full summer here this month, uh, I just wanted to reach out and let you know that everything's fine and uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll be seeing you a lot more as we get through the summer and from now on. So thank you so much for staying subscribed to my video. Uh, or my channel. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. You can go down there. Uh, go ahead and boop the like button if you want to, uh, if you made it this far. And we'll see you next time because may your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Bye-bye.